While a lot of eyes are on the global pandemic, Savannah and South Carolina's low country are still watching an active 2020 hurricane season. WJCL's Alex Littlehale is joining us from the low country with important changes you need to know if a storm does impact our area. Hey, Alex. Well, Frank Riley, there are a lot of moving parts, as we know, when it comes to preparing and staying safe during a hurricane, but throw in all of the changes that need to be made now because of the novel coronavirus makes things even a lot more complicated. For example, take the Ridgeland High School here in Jasper County. It is one of the main uh, hurricane shelters here in the area, not just for Jasper County, but really for the entire low country. Now, uh, under normal circumstances, they are allowed to sleep 3,000 people at this facility, but because of now social Social distancing they told us today that they are only allowed to sleep less than 700 now to put that number into perspective for people during hurricane Matthew in 2016 more than 800 people from across the area sought shelter here at the Ridgeland High School so if the same number of people had to show up again they would actually be need to move to a different evacuation facility evacuees will also need to have their temperatures taken and answer a list of questions about their symptoms as well as their travel history some people, if seen as a risk for possibly transmitting the virus, will have to be isolated in a different part of the facility as well. And so because of all these changes, fire and rescue themselves in this area are saying if you have the ability, make plans elsewhere if you can. Because of needing to have more distance between folks, uh, right now the, the Red Cross guidelines are about 110 square feet per person coming into the shelter to allow for social distancing. So again, the numbers of folks we can take in are greatly reduced. Now, for anyone who is seeking shelter who would actually be COVID positive at, positive at the time of a hurricane, you will not be turned away, just to be clarified. You will be transported to an isolation facility somewhere else. Now, face coverings, gloves, and other PPE equipment have been ordered as a way for the county to keep people safe while they are in this shelter during a storm. From Low Country Tonight, I'm Alex Little-Hales for WJCL 22 News. Back to you.